From the Belgian Grand Prix to the Italian Grand Prix, we are here in Imla today. It is absolutely pouring with rain. We are on the full wets here. It is just absolutely, completely, absurdly slippery than all hell. But again, we are in our one-shot qualifying here. I am very not familiar with Imla as it is. But I'm going to see if I can try my hardest to finish. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you here. Come down through here, up into the forested section. Going to break quite late for our double eight pecs. Going to be quite late to the power coming back in. And then we're breaking so, so, so late for our chicane here, completely screwed up. But we do not actually exceed track limits at all. But we do not actually exceed track limits at all. We've got numerous drivers already retiring from the session. So just by finishing the lap, I think we might actually get quite high up the positions here and we are up into the 134.433 is our time up into what 10th look at that we are easily six seconds off pace so uh whew, we actually got pushed down to 11th there finally on the scoreboard 11th position you can see my name Probably won't ever happen again, so I'm just taking in the moment of being visible to the rest of the world. <laughs> uh, help. We're gonna have a poor start tomorrow. I still haven't figured out how to have some good starts, so we're gonna we're gonna see how that works. <laughs> so bear with us in the hopefully not wet Italian Grand Prix. We'll find out. Alright, holding in the clutch. We're now reaching our optimal revs. And we're off and going already. Losing the position immediately, however, that's all we've lost. Breaking there for our first chicane, making up our position back here, flat out up into seventh gear, going up into eighth. We're going to break early. Apparently that you can, you don't have to break for, really. Maintaining 12th, barely, and then going wide because we just still can't remember where the track goes. Dropping numerous positions already. We've got a couple of drivers already retiring from the session. Trying my hardest not to do, uh, to make Red Bull proud, or I don't even know at this point. Not even sure how I ended up in a Red Bull anyway. I should still be a part of the... If they gave me any chance, I'd be in the AlphaTauri team. But they thought this loser was good enough to be in a Red Bull. I don't know why they chose me, but here we are. Turning off ERS so we can break down here into our last chicane, or last set of corners before the main straight. Up into the seventh gear, we're gonna use ERS. Gonna see if we can catch up to Moist Plastic Bag Definitely one of my most favorite names I've seen yet tonight. Into the gravel trap. Fortunately, does not get stuck in the gravel. I've seen many streamers already complain about the realisticness of gravel. So we're gonna try and keep out of it as much as we can. Horrible snaps of oversteer. And better be careful with the throttle there as this is in fact rear wheel drive. Nearly a thousand horsepower just to the rear wheels. So you gotta be very cautious of that. We're gonna continue going through here and then break. Got a person in front of us already spinning out. We are going well over the rumble strip. Remember to break here on this nice bright sunny day of Imola wrapping up the final stages of the second lap well into 13th position defending from 14th 
Knowing me, I would not be surprised if we have a mistake coming on up here. Taking wide on the Rumble Strip, take, uh, staying out of the gravel, activating ERS, now up into... I don't know. The third lap. DRS is now enabled. I don't think I'll be able to get within a second, though. Looks like a couple of people behind us may have gotten the penalty or two, but we're going to tap on the brakes slightly for there and there. Have a little bit of an oversteer, and then we're going to break, break, break. Why are we not breaking more? Snap an oversteer on the way out of that corner. We're going to use ERS just for a moment. Deactivate it. Break down here up down into fourth gear up into the double apex for section I'm breaking way too early but I'm gonna break early so I can get a better exit here nice and narrow not too wide just using a little bit of the rumble strip up into our very dangerous chicane section there it looks like Pico's gotten a two second time penalty there probably for reasons that I probably should have them too most likely Going out of the final sections of Imola here. Getting back down onto the power, activating ERS once again, passing the pit lane, waving hello to the pit crew. As they're probably giving me the middle finger for uh, driving this car so horribly. We're going to turn off ERS and we're going to stop on the brakes. Somehow kind of make that corner. A little bit awkward though. Just a Tiny bit of oversteer on the exit. We're going to brake here. Brake there. Touch the gravel slightly. Down into second, and we are not quite making up ground, but we are staying in contention of not getting points. <laughs> Lifting off for brake, brake. Oh, for the Sasha's... Sausage, wow, sausage curbs. Activating ERS randomly so then we can go straight into the tight chicane section once again. I'm still debating if uh, taking the chicane flat out and cutting it is worth the couple of penalties that we might get from it. Going wide on the gravel. We're getting in the shift here because we're dealing with our ERS giving up a uh, 13th position to uh, that name <laughs> not going to try pronouncing that one but we're going to break I have just an absolutely horrible turn one and two and an all right exit of three turn five is wide again on the gravel we are losing some of our grip from the tires here Finally seen close on the inside on that corner. Finally. Activating ERS to see if we can make up any gains. Deactivating it just for a moment. Not quite shifting up yet, but we're going to coast. Break. Perfect. Ish. Said no one. We already got a race winner. Didn't realize that was lap five, but we're exiting the chicane section without any penalties. Activating ERS for the second to last straight. Deactivating. Down, down, down. We might have... I was about to say we might have some opportunities to make up position here if we have a last minute mistake. But of course, it was only us at the end who had the mistake. Across the line in 14th position. Much better than 18th, not by much. I'm hoping one day that uh, I will be like Mick Schumacher and Schuma Schumacher. Wow, American accent is really coming on through here. One day I might be like Mick Schumacher and have a points finish here. Again, maybe not tonight. Well, there we are, 14th position in the Italian Grand Prix of Imola. Driver of the day is a Haas driver, and it was not me, for I was just a horrible Red Bull driver once again. Still don't know why they let me in the team. I really shouldn't be there. <laughs> now look at that. 14th position. I am the last one on the screen. Beautiful.
Best slap was still five seconds down. Eh. It was all right. 